I mean, like, I mean, like. Awalamo, if you know Jesus, if you are a more. Awalamo, if you know Jesus, if you are a more. Awalamo, if you know Jesus, if you are a Talking about that, it's, it's yeah. ass is white, mine is white. It's a lie, it's a lie. You can drop in your comments which person's seat is white. Him, 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 yeah, him, him. <laughs> okay, good morning. Good morning. Um, how was your night? Yes, my night was good. I slept very well. Sleepy shall see my eye. You can see my eye very well. Oh, I slept well. He slept well too. Let's talk for him. So I, guess I what? I trust I slept right soon. Yes, I know. But if you are like me, we understand ourselves. You God slept well us. though, but not too much. It's mm-hmm. not good to be sleeping too much, the but Lord, just sleep the well. Lord divert his beloved sleep. Good you know, sleep, not, know, not, not long many, sleep. How many, how many the house are the beloved of the, <laughs> the Lord? The Bible does not say he gives his beloved a long sleep. It says he gives his beloved sleep. Sleep. Sleep uh, that is sleep good is sleep. for the time. Sleep is sleep. If you come and sleep 20 hours, it's not the Lord, it's the devil that is giving you sleep. If you, ah, <laughs> you say we slept 20 hours. We just sleep 20 hours. So guess what? Today is on 19. And guess what now? Guess, 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 yes. It's one. I remember I get to do a giveaway. Right? So every question we're asking, it just be putting in the comment box. We'll, after everything, we'll choose the most robust answer. And we'll give the person a worthy gift. So it's nice. I don't know why he cut he's cutting me short in what I'm <laughs> manage it so um it's one month of hmm god's faithfulness one month of love ah god marriage sweet oh ah, yeah. it is interesting trust me and don't think i'm saying marriage sweet because everything has been rosy nah the hoogly There's something to say. You, hi, bro. Let me leave that one. The ups and downs. What she's just trying to say is that it's been <laughs> one month since I put the ring into her ring finger. So this is our one month anniversary. We got married December 19th, Yay. 2020. And this is January 19th, 2021. So it's been one month down the line. I talk. I know what one to month say. Down the line. After they say the word that is the talker. You can see for the video. I'm helping you to project the voice project and the things the, you are saying. So I'm just transmitting the translation, the transmission, transmitting translator and ah, transmission. Are you <laughs> so um, we will just say a little things about the one month, you know, our victories, our battles. You know, you see, uh, see, there's something I want to say. When you never enter something. Don't assume that you know it. It's good to listen to people. But you see, the idea of marriage, eh? It is the way you run it that it will go. Mm-hmm. You can't run it like someone else's house. <laughs> it's the way you run it that it will go. Yes, it's beautiful to take counsel. It's beautiful to, to read books. Yes. I'm not playing down on those things. But ne. When you enter, eh, you will see that there are some counsels that are not necessary. You will now have to go back to God, who is the author of marriage, and get the blueprint for your own marriage. For your own marriage. Our marriage yes, cannot every, be like your marriage. Every marriage is unique. Yes. Every marriage is unique. But of, of course, there are some general principles yes. that hold for every marriage. But then uh, there are some specifics that you know each marriage would have would so if you can take the specific of another man's marriage and put in your own you will crash the marriage so for some persons um the specific may be that the um the man is the person that cooks it's a specific 
it may be because something 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 happened and the woman so we know that you know culturally the woman should be the one you know cooking the husband helps out but you know there are some specific marriages there are some marriages that you know some things may just happen maybe for that time the man is the person that is not so busy the wife is busier with work you know and all that and all that and the man just feels in so if you come and say ah that marriage is not good though it's the man that is cooking can you imagine the wife is not even uh, you don't understand why it is like that in their marriage so you don't you know what am I saying? Yes, you're, you're on point. I'm on you're point. Right. Yes. So what we're just trying to say is that there are general principles that holds in marriage. Husbands love your wife, wife submits your husband, fine. But there are some specifics that, you know, is peculiar to marriages. So don't come and take your marriage and compare with another person's marriage and say, Mrs. So 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 is doing so to her husband, so why are you not doing this to me? Mr. So 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 is doing so to her wife, why are you not doing this to me? Blah 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 blah. So just take your marriage, receive the blueprint from God and work it out in your marriage. Okay, um we'll just talk about some specific things that happened within this one month. You know, I've heard People say, you know, they stayed for one month, no quarrels. Actually, I'm, I'm hearing you. you like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To project your voice. Okay. They've stayed for one month, no quarrel. Eh! <laughs> eh! Eh, this Sandra! Yeah! Hey! No, I'm not saying it's not possible. But for us, we've had it up, yes, down, so we have. left, right. Yeah. Center. In fact, there was one day that we, ah uh, ah, uh, who had to come and ask, please, what happened today? Like we did just happen. We did just know what happened. It just happened. So we just found that that there was something in between. Okay, let me start from here. I'm the talker. I easily get angry, especially when I'm saying something and you're just not answering so spontaneously. And he is the calm person that wants to process what you're saying. And the processing time does not occur well with my own time. So I just feel that he's just neglecting me. He's just, just, so most times I just get angry, spark and all that. And it comes in circle. When and when I she get sparks, angry, yeah, I, I enter inside. He zones out. Then when he's trying to come out, yeah, he zones out. <laughs> So it continues to become a circle. You know, you see, that's where forgiveness comes in. Mm, if yeah. you don't forgive, it will become a circle. Mm. Like, when he zones out, he's not trying to come out of his zone to say, baby. And I'm like, excuse me. I already gotten angry that I zoned out. Zoned out. out and so get as I'm coming is, out, she's meeting <laughs> an angry lady that has zoned out. I mean, then I'm be angry, angry that I'm trying that to come out and she's zoning and out. I'm and I'm zoning out. Zoning in. <laughs> you understand that kind of thing? So it becomes a circle. It's so like there's something. Frustration. Yes. There's something I learned from that particular action. See, whenever you're angry, whenever there is an issue, kill it. The Bible says, when let don't let the sun go down on your anger. See, we used to say that if let us uh, don't after evening you forgive. Don't sleep, if I'm, you, don't sleep with anger. <laughs> if you are angry with somebody in the morning and you're waiting for evening, and Jesus comes. What will happen? You tell Jesus you're waiting for evening. Don't let the heat of the argument or the trouble come down without forgiving. Without forgiving. Apologize immediately. Kill it. So, what I've learned to do over time is whenever I just see it, oh, I apologize, I'm sorry. So that it dies there. But when you keep getting hot, you know, see, the truth is that everybody has a freedom to express emotions. Yeah. You have the freedom to be angry. I have the right to be angry. We but hey, there's in your anger. Do not sin. Do not so sin. The Bible so is saying you can get you angry. Can get angry. But don't sin. Don't sin. So where the sin comes in is when you allow the anger mm. to linger and linger and, and linger. And be brooding on it. The longer, the more you brood on things, the more the devil brings in thoughts to you. Yes. Look at what she did. Or look at what yes. he did. 
look at this, and look at that. And you connect it with something that happened in 19010. So you keep picking them, picking the puzzles, and the devil is good with playing with our minds. You join it for you, join it. You join it. You say, in fact, he told me this yesterday. What does he mean? What they get there? I'm talking about myself right now. What, what in fact does he know? But hey, do you know the implication of that thing? The implication is that the devil has come in between. Mm -hmm. So that is, it's just playing out. It's just playing out. You think you're having yourself, you're having your freedom, you're showing that you are the boss, especially me. You know, I'm going to show this guy, I'm going to deal with him. Hello, the devil has started playing hanky panky with your marriage already. So the idea is immediately he brings in little something no matter how small it is as small as small as it break it scatter it mm. push it away the he there's the devil it's not your husband uh, no the he the is the devil. devil when the devil brings him any little thing little thing deal with it deal there with and it then immediately and if not it has tendency to grow and blow <laughs> even the bible says that the mustard seed if you have faith as mustard seed um, is it that you take a mustard seed you plant it and then it becomes a big tree and then birds can come and oh. find shelter in the same way when the devil gives you his own mustard seed, seed and you take it and plant, and plant it, it will grow and, and become and a so big tree and demons come and take shelter shelter and, and your marriage, marriage will become will a, a hob of demons so that's that's one thing we've learned over time kill it even if you're in a relationship whenever that little thing comes up pride is there eh you know, yeah. pride, pride can kill. You know, but ego, ego too. You don't have to be the one that made the mistake. Just for that relationship to work, for the marriage to work, kill it. Talk about it and let it end. And don't refer to the past. Don't. The minute you talk about something and it dies off, let it die. Then another implication of lingering an argument or a misunderstanding is that you create a distance that will take so much strength. Let me tell so you our story. There was one day we had issues for more than five hours we didn't talk. It took me the whole day to come back. The whole day. Because we were so far, you, you will never believe how far you will be. You think it's just physical thing. Your souls are going apart, going apart by seconds, by minutes. You know the devil is a very tra uh, crafty person. By seconds, by minutes, you're going afar. You're, you're saying unsaid statements that are making serious separation. You know when you're keeping quiet, it, it doesn't mean you're quiet. There are some unsaid statements that are being made. So if you're not talking, don't think there's no vacuum. Something is talking. So it's better you even talk. It's better you come up and apologize. Because when you don't apologize, something else is talking. So it took me the whole of that day. It took us the whole of that day to come back. And I told myself, no, this is not going to repeat itself again. Because it was very difficult. We were trying to find balance again. But when we found balance, it was beautiful. Because it made us to understand each other better. And it made us to you know, know how to, especially me, I don't apologize. Eh? what yeah hey even if i'm at fault i'll find a way to turn the table so you'll be the one apologizing but god has been helping me just apologize straight up then finally there's something i want to say i want to talk about misconceptions now uh, before let me just you talk about people in the relationship so let's okay. because maybe you may be a single out there and wondering this is not for me so if i even if i'm in a relationship and there's a misunderstanding deal with it then it's still, yes. yeah, it still applies to you and even if you are not in a romantic relationship, whether a relationship with your your colleague at work, with your um, fellow student, with anybody in church, deal with it. So this concept of offense and forgiveness is not just, just for, for marriage. marriage. And it, it occurs in every... So the longer you stay with an offense, the more you get separated from the person. So the, what God wants us to do is with every offense that comes, deal with it forgive and move on do you understand so when when they um and it, it, it does not matter how often it happens the yeah. thing is that you forgive you know when, when jesus talks about um 
you know, you forgive seven times, 77, right? He was not talking about keeping counts. He was talking about forgetting counts. So when you say seven times, seven, seven, we are not counting, oh, she has done this one, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and you are counting. Jesus, his emphasis was not for you to keep counts. His emphasis was for you to forget count because when you start counting you you forget Definitely when you reach the 490 uh, 490 is it 490 70 70 times 70. 70. okay it's 490. 490 before you reach there you would have forgotten where, where you are so you lose 50. count do you understand so let offenses go go then finally i want to talk about misconceptions i know i had these misconceptions you know about men about marriage about husbands you have you know. to loud it oh Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm used to talking. Okay, I know I had these misconceptions about marriage, about husbands, about men. But there are some in our subsequent video. I'm going. I'm going to be debunking some kind of misconceptions we have as ladies. You know, when we sit down to talk, we we'll talk about so many things. Ah, don't allow him. Oh, hey, k k k, yeah, k k k, oh, yeah, k k k, and it makes us to have a defense mechanism before we enter marriage. So before we enter marriage, we have one armor, shield. The only armor we are supposed to wear is the shield of faith, breastplate of righteousness, helmet of salvation. That's the only thing we are permitted to put on. But these things have a way of dealing with your mind. I said something sometime on my WhatsApp. Whatever God is not saying about marriage, don't say it. Even if you heard it from a pastor, or heard it from anywhere, don't say it. So it entails that you go look for what God is saying about marriage and hold on to it. Yeah. Subsequently, I'm going to be talking specific about the misconceptions I had, you know, and it, it, it played so much when we we're cutting, it was what was making us have issues. So he's asking me, okay. I say I need this amount of money and it's asking me, okay, what for? And I flare up. I flare up. And and I'm like, is it that you're controlling me? Or kini kini kini. But over time I got to find out that I spend a lot and he's a calculated spender. So he has helped me to have sense while I'm spending. So I don't spend on things that are not priority and now lack when I need the things that are prior priority in my life. Do you understand? You spend on buying things that are not necessary. Then when you want to buy the necessary thing, you're looking for money to buy it. Those things. And it helped me to learn how to prioritize. But then, with the misconception I had, when he asked me some questions, I would be like, what? He wants to gain... Hey, hey, hey. I'm an independent lady. I'm blah, 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 blah. Ah, my dear, the essence of marriage is that we make each other become better. So if you have that misconception... Those, those misconceptions, you have to start debunking it. I promise to make a video about some misconceptions we have. But start debunking it. You're in a relationship and someone is telling you, Hey, this one, marriage, you have to be sharp. Oh, go and buy pepper so that you'll be peppering your husband. Hello. That is from the pit of hell. Reject it. There's nothing like pepper. I've not peppered my husband for anything. Why am I peppering him? Please, why should I pepper him? Pepper Excuse your husband, me. Pepper yourself, <laughs> why so should I pepper him? Two shall be one. Be one. When will I come and just bring up, bring up issues to fight that quarrel? Why? I'm doing myself. I'm not doing because I'll lose my peace. He will lose his peace, and the home will not be. There is nobody that thrives in an environment that is not peaceful. Nobody. Nobody. No matter how bad that person is, you will you will have some form of a, a psychological breakdown. A bit. Did I get it? <laughs> <laughs> something, <laughs> something. You know, emotional we'll breakdown. Thank you. <laughs> emotional breakdown. I got with me. Emotional breakdown. So that's basically it. We talked about two things: forgiveness, the cycle of offense. It's only forgiveness that can stop it. Even if you allow that cycle to go, it will keep going. Number one. Number two. No matter how little that offense is. When you plant it, it becomes a big tree. Mm. And things, things you don't want, we perch on it. And we brood in your relationship, brood in your home. Number three, for the singles, for the ones in relationship, even for the married, 
do away with misconceptions about men. Men are scum, men are this, men are that. That those are lies from the pit of hell. The devil does not want marriage. Yeah. And for the singles, when you have those kind of misconceptions, is you attract those kind of men People. and you now say, mm, Shabby, I said you it. said it. They said yes. it. So whatever you believe, whatever you feed your mind with is what you would attract. So if I single there, you know, deal with these misconceptions. Men are every man uh, every man is unfaithful, for yes. example. All, All men, men are cheats. cheats. So those kind of things, when you begin to feed on them and begin to believe them, that's exactly who you will marry. And then you now say, yes, that's what they used to say. I've experienced it. You now keep on propagating the, the lie. So, but when you be, once you believe that even if, you know, 95% of the men are this, there are still men that mm. are faithful. Like my husband. I'm telling you. Yes. yes. I'm even I'm getting not, I'm not You see how serious I am talking about this? <laughs> I'm not blowing any unnecessary trumpet. I told myself that my marriage would be different. So, even if people are getting married to the wrong Christian brothers, hello, the wrong spiritual brothers, I can't make a mistake. I remember me, I and my friends those days. We told us we can't make mistakes. So we can't. So tell yourself that. That people are saying this one is a brother and is doing like this. They are still remnants that God has kept for his own children. So if you're a daughter, if you are a son, know that there is a remnant that God has kept for you. So don't settle for less. Don't settle for those misconceptions. There is a remnant, but the issue is how willing are you, uh, how willing are you to wait for your own? Your own. How willing are you to wait for your own? So I, I just feel stirred in my spirit to release a prayer of blessing for every single out there that you are going to receive your own in the name of Jesus, regardless of the amount of unfaithful men out there you would god would give you your own in the name of jesus no matter the amount of women that are not virtuous that are on the streets i declare over your life that you will receive your own virtuous woman in the virtuous wife in the name of jesus lemarush in kahadia suferenia tabalatia zenondia tie kopahadia i onish esifra natania i unseal things in your life right now in the name of jesus and i declare that things that are not working out well in your life i'm Regarding your relationship, regarding your marriage, in the name of Jesus, God helps you. The countenance of God shines upon you. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you receive rest. You receive rest in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. You receive rest. And if you are, if you are, you know, you know, you are just there worried about relationship. You know, when God wanted to give um, Adam a wife, He caused him to sleep. He put him to rest. So I want you to put yourself to rest or allow God to put you to rest so that you are not bothered, you are not running up and down. Ah, is this my husband? Is that my husband? Is this my wife? Is that my wife? And you are trying to. So just be calm. You said in in in, in, in quietness and in um in what again now shall be your salvation. So in your quietness and in your rest, you will receive your salvation. Do you understand? So stop being bothered. Ah, I'm getting old. Ah, where is the person for me? And you know, your heart is troubled. Let it be calm and be confident that God is going to give you your own. He said he makes all things beautiful in his time. So that calmness is very important because when you're anxious, the devil opens doors. Yes. And you now accept any man that you comes. Accept anybody any that, comes. that comes. So it is very important. Even the Bible says, do not be anxious. Because God knows that the devil use and uses anxiety to cause his people to fall into diverse temptations and diverse ditches and problems. So don't be anxious. Yeah. Allow yourself, allow the Holy Spirit to work on you. Be peaceful. Be peaceful. I have so many things to say this video, but we've taken our time. Be peaceful. I married when I least expected. I never expected to marry. I wanted to go and, you know, do some things in my life. I was not so eager about the marriage thing. You know, but that's a story for another day. So thank you for joining us today. Uh, Probably right. wants to give <laughs> out some things. Uh. So like we promised, we are going to, you know, give you some questions. 
and you just respond with if it's number one, number one, him or her, depending on who you, you feel, you know, that's what we are going to ask you. So the first question is, you know, there's a research that says that in every couple, there's always someone that snores and the other does not. In, let me not say in every couple, in like almost, almost every couple. Every couple. So, who do you think snores amongst us? Is he her? Or is he me? That, that's number one. So number two, who do you think is more romantic? <laughs> her or him? Who do you think is more disciplined? Her or him? Disciplined, disciplined. You know what I mean by discipline? So who eats more? That's number four. Yeah. Who do you think eats more? Mm. <laughs> Who devours, you know, and devours. I didn't say who cooks more, I mean who eats more. Alright, number five, who is the talker? If you've been following, following us, you would have received answers to some of these questions. questions. So who is the talker among the two of us? Someone will say among the two both of us. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, who kissed the other first? <laughs> Of course, we are still going I didn't see it, that. But... I didn't. I didn't see that coming. My God, I didn't see that coming. Uh, so I let the answers roll in, and the first to get all the answers correctly, or if you guys don't get it all correctly, we we'll now have to choose the best answer. So the first best best answer will now contact you and will give you your prize. All right, so this is the Abu Naya Abu case. We are saying thank you for joining us. Yeah, if you've not subscribed, you. hit the subscription button right now and follow us. Yeah. And you know, we'll subsequently we'll bring in more videos, reality videos. Yeah. You, are, you know, as you can see, we've not said it's our anniversary, so let's give them the good stuff. Our marriage has been wonderful. We are. Oh, we've well, never, we we've never ah. had the squeeze face before. Ah, one month of bliss and. <laughs> So we gave you, in fact, we even talked about the the challenges more, more than, than the victories. We will in the subsequent video so, we talk about victories. Yes, so we've had the victories and all together, you know, just this morning we were discussing that, you know, for example, the love of God can slap you. It's still the love of God. The love of God can kiss you. It's still the love of God. So, but human beings, we want to receive the kiss okay. and not the slap. Do you understand? So even in our challenges, it's still part of the victories. I don't know if you understand. So we are growing better and better every day. And happy anniversary, honey. Oh, you know it could only have been God. to buy me custard ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> if thou believest, you receive. Please, I believe. Oh, I believe with the whole of my heart. If you see the kind of belief, it's even yeah, my faith is bigger than mustard seed right mm. now for that custard mm. ice cream. <laughs> Alright, we'll God. do that. We'll do that someday. Thank you. <laughs> someday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm looking at today and it's, it's all fact. Yeah, we are going, I'm going to the work. I'm going to work from work. We are going for school of ministry, mm -hmm. and so I'm going to come back right at home and we'll do the anniversary. It's our cooked food. Who is not going to cook the food? You will cook today. We will cook you will cook it. today. Today is anniversary. I'll wash the pots <laughs> and put water on fire for you. <laughs> All right. All right. So have a great day. Have a great day. Do have share the video. I want yes. you to share the video so that a lot of persons can you know benefit. receive and benefit as you have benefited. Yes. God bless you. It's a you nice have. time with you. Yes. God bless you. With you. Yeah. Kill them up with you. <laughs> And who again? Uh, frankly, frankly, yes. Who again? Uh, These ones are next on These are the ones that you know commented in our last video, and um. Benedicta. Benedicta, our okay. the divine will. Thank you. Thank God bless you. We forgot to submit. Yes, please. but please don't be. I, I'm yeah, just trying to. Yeah, we didn't plan to do this. I'm yeah, just trying to recall some of the comments. Yes. All right, we do love you. God bless you and have a great day. Bye. He has done it again. <laughs>